What's up guys, my name is Marcel, welcome to One Dapper Street and welcome to today's video which is going to be the first haul of 2020. I ordered 10 of my favorite pieces from Uniqlo and I know right now is not the best shopping season because everybody just kind of came from the holiday shopping but I want to set the tone with a few of these essential basics, they're super versatile, they're to a large extent really comfortable and that's what I kind of want to focus on this year, just creating wardrobe that's a little bit more versatile and thus sustainable, focusing on more essentials that are high quality. Enough talking, let's get to some of the pieces starting with this trench coat. Honestly, I have recommended this trench coat probably now for years. When they first came out with it, I just fell in love with it. I've always sized down, so while I'm usually a medium, this is a size small. And a trench coat is an ultimately classic piece. It's been around for close to a century. It is very functional and it's also very versatile in terms of how you can layer and style it since you have a fairly lightweight jacket so you can fit a lot underneath but at the same time it keeps you protected from the weather and I mean that's why it was invented in the first place military purposes if you don't know the history of the trench coat and you want to know let me know maybe I'll do a video on that anyway love this piece I think it transitions really nicely from the colder winter days into the colder spring days into the warmer spring days even so piece number one for piece number two I've got another jacket this is another really versatile piece you see a little bit of the color scheme is more in the earth tone range that's where I I don't know that's where I land I like earth tones and they're really easily mixed together but it makes for a really cool outfit once you have it together so this olive green jersey work jacket utility jacket is amazing I've had this in my closet for a while actually so this is not something I shop with it. I just wanted to include it because it's still on the website and I think you guys might really like it. It's really nicely layered and you can wear this definitely more casually but you can also dress it up a little bit more so once again that versatility. It's really nice and comfortable like I said it's a jersey jacket so jersey means it's stretchy like that. You can see this right here. Well a normal work jacket would probably be more of a rigid cotton that's less flexible also less comfortable. This guy right here is I think a really nice addition to a wardrobe and also transitions nicely once again from the fall to the spring not the fall from the winter <laughs> transitions really nicely from the winter to the spring the next piece I've got for you my next favorite color after all the earth tones is probably navy if I had to pick one it'd probably be navy got this long sleeve waffle knit shirt I actually am doubling up on this so this is pieces number three and four I really really like these. I had an olive green one in my closet for a while and I just went online and found both of these. I really really like them. They're just beautiful comfortable essentials and especially as we still face colder temperatures. Not here so much in LA but in New York where I'm back and forth uh, in, in between of. That was English I hope. Sometimes I get confused about the grammar. And I hope that was English. Sometimes uh, sentence structure gets a little bit difficult being German. Really nice cream color, really nice navy color, both obviously fairly contrasty, so you would go for very different looks with these in terms of the color combination. If you want to keep it lighter, go for this. If you want to go a little bit darker up top, this, pretty straightforward, but they're really comfortable, they fit really nicely, and I think the waffle knit gives them an aesthetic that's a little bit more versatile. <laughs> you hear how often I'm using that word? That's what I love about Uniqlo. Just a little bit more versatile. You can wear this underneath a blazer and it'll look right and you can wear this underneath, I don't know, a denim jacket or, or zip up hoodie and it'll still look really good. So these two pieces, big recommendation from me to you guys. Next up, I want to talk about this button down shirt right here. It's a broadcloth shirt. I haven't really been dressing all that dapper recently and I think I want to change it up again a little bit. It feels like this spring I'm going to try and be a little bit more elegant again. So I really, really like this. It's a size small and it fits really, really well, I think. And maybe, like I just said, one of my favorite colors and the fact that it's a button down is honestly when you're going for a dress shirt now for me, almost like always a must <laughs> as I'm standing here with this Mango Man shirt that's not. but. It just allows you to wear it unbuttoned and then the collar doesn't fly around which is why I like the shirt even though it doesn't have buttons it doesn't fly around so that's what I'm looking out for in a dress shirt and especially in a casual dress shirt. So I can wear this with a pair of chinos even with a pair of cargo joggers if I want to. Just button it down a little bit and then have a nice piece that obviously I mean if this is a dress shirt it obviously transcends seasonality so I can wear this in the winter if I put like a nice thicker cardigan or a sweater on and I can wear this in the spring maybe just underneath this right here trench coat. This right here is a special piece at least to me. I know it is just a hoodie but the piece of art is something that reminds me of one of my first trips in New York to the Japanese Museum. This is a piece of art from the Japanese artist Hiroshige from the Ukiyo-e period. 
So from Tokyo, but before it was called Tokyo, at that point it's called Edo. Anyway, that was one of the first museum experiences that kind of like left a left an imprint with me and I really really just like this hoodie and it's something I appreciate about Uniqlo overall their collaborations are with iconic not only cartoon brands and like I don't know Dragon Ball which I love for a whole different reason but Andy Warhol and now this entire collaboration it's just really cool I think in the same way that their pieces are timeless, the collaboration partners they choose also are. And I just think this is really cool, besides the fact that this white hoodie is really comfortable. The one thing I don't love about it, I'll say, is that the hood doesn't have too much structure, so if that's something you're looking for, then this might not be the way to go. But I'm looking forward to rocking, chilling in this thing, and definitely more on the casual side with this one. Moving on to bottoms, we got these two-way stretch Easy Y cotton pants. Beautiful blue, it's like a royal blue. Uh, it used to be my favorite color. Now, I really like it still, but I don't really have a favorite color anymore, in case you were wondering. Really like these, uh, just a really nice fit. They're really stretchy, like it says, two-way. And they're called Easy Y, Easy. That's their, uh, that's Uniqlo's denunciation for, honestly, just really comfortable, easy, slip in and out of. Really nice fit, I got these in a size small, which my waist isn't crazy. I'm usually a waist 31, so I guess that kind of works, but, you guys probably know if you watch this channel a lot that I tend to size down in Uniqlo. Anyway, really, really like these, a more dressy option. Alternatively, you can go for the more casual option that's a little bit more skinny throughout the leg. These are the colored jeans. I, oh, I don't know what, they're just, they feel like you're wearing joggers or, or like leggings, no, more leggings, like long johns. There we go. They are definitely on the skinny side, which I still love. I don't care what fashion says. I still like the way skinny jeans look. And these are definitely a little bit more relaxed. They're not like spray on skinny, so I think that's cool. I really like this tan color. I don't need to repeat myself. I think we've got that earth tone color combination point well made. And sadly, there actually is uh, the 10th piece that is not even here right now, is these in olive green. I don't know why, but Uniqlo canceled that item off my order. I don't know if that size was randomly sold out, but I would have really loved to have an olive green bottom. Just to have a little bit more fun. Like, this is a colored jean, but at the end of the day, it kind of looks like a chino, which is nice, but I think the dark green would have just been a little bit more of a pop. Now, on to the last piece, and you may have wondered why Frank over here is looking like he's the execu executioner on some sort of medieval show. It's this cashmere beanie, and I, just wanted to include it because I hadn't seen Uniqlo do 100% cashmere at the price point that this is priced at, which is ridiculous. All the links for all these pieces are down below to shop, of course, for you guys, including this. So if you want to check it out, it comes in a few different colors. But I wanted to try it out and I really like it. And as simple as this dark gray is, I actually kind of like this dark gray specifically. And with that, we're wrapping up today's video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. If you want, leave comments down below with questions concerns <laughs> any any other comments you would like to leave thank you guys for watching i hope to see you very soon with the next video oh oh if you want to see these styled and looks let me know so i can make a lookbook for you guys with that i'll leave you and enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you very soon stay dapper guys bye